In today's video, are you on the right path for fat loss? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I wanna address a question uh, about fat loss and about how you know you're on the right path because I see there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of online calculators that give you some ideas on you know, what you should be eating. There's a lot of uh, you know, workout programs that'll kind of help you with estimates. And actually, if you go to ProPhysique.com, we have a calorie calculator that we created that I, help, uh, that I helped put some info into that I think can really help you if you really have no idea where to start. It will give you a baseline. But the one thing you have to understand about calculators is that they use an equation that is based on math, that is based on averages, and you just might not be average. So really, what I'm gonna do is answer today's question that came from my Instagram direct message. So thank you guys for the great questions. And if you have questions about the transformation challenge, which has kicked off, the sign up period has started today. I'll put a link below for your chance to win $50,000. Yeah, if you go to ProPhysique.com transformation challenge, all the rules are there. And there's an email for a person to contact. So the question goes like this. I'm 24 years old, 173 centimeters tall, and I weigh around 70 kilograms. Since I work out every day in the gym, I need 2,600 calories according to online calculators. And since I need to reduce my body fat level, I'm following a calorie deficit diet. I usually log my workouts using an application, and I generally don't miss out on my workouts as well. Even after following all these steps, I'm not observing any improvements in my body shape. I'm not gone impatient yet, but I just need guidance whether I'm following the path or not. So you bring up some good points here um, about the online calculators, and they told you that you need 2,600 calories. But when you say you're following a calorie deficit diet, that is not true if you're not losing body fat, okay? The definition of a caloric deficit is that your body is not getting enough calories and therefore it must break down body fat for fuel. So although in theory the numbers look good, like I said before, you might be someone that doesn't fit into the calculation as it pertains to fat loss. So what do I suggest? I suggest, well, you're off to a good start. If you're eating 2,600 calories every day and if you're working out, well, you just need to make some adjustments to what you're doing. That's right. If you start taking in, let's say, 22 or 2300 calories, therefore being in a more deficit state, perhaps you might start seeing weight loss happen, or you could simply adjust what you're doing on a daily basis. One thing that we start to miss out on is that just because you go to the gym and work out for 30, 45 minutes, that's not gonna burn that many calories. You're actually gonna burn more calories throughout the day doing things like non-exercise activities. If you are a sedentary person, you're probably gonna need to pick up the pace with other things going on in your life. And this is really a big focus for many people is the end goal. What is your goal? You mentioned you wanted to lose weight. Well, if you're looking to lose weight and get in better shape, well, that's why we're providing this platform with the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge where we're providing diets, we're providing workouts, we're providing a private forum where we're gonna be doing Q and A's, two videos a week, and so if you're looking for something that actually motivates you, and if you're looking for that community that helps you stick to the plan and gets you excited about doing things weekly, ultimately it's gonna come down to many things, whether you're successful or not. But the most powerful thing is going to be sticking to your goal and paying attention to the changes that need to happen along the way. And I know these can be kind of difficult things to navigate your first time, but if you're not getting a result and you just keep doing the same thing, well, that means you're crazy. That's the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So while it would be good in theory to just trust a computer or trust an online calculator, those are generally a better place to start. Then once you get some data, once you can start to say, hey, okay, this is what I've been doing. I'm not getting the result I want. Well, you need to make some adjustments. And a caloric deficit by definition means you're not taking in enough calories to keep up with your demand and therefore your body will begin to break down body fat. This is going to be the way that we have long-term success. Now, when it comes to trying to avoid muscle loss during this period, yes, it's great to go to the gym. It's great to ensure that you're eating enough protein. If you wanted a rough number, I would just say set your protein at about your goal weight. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you set your protein per pound at that. So say a 200 pound person wants to get 150. Well, if they set their protein at 150 grams, that's gonna be plenty to ensure that you're keeping muscle and that you're not losing lean body mass along the way. The one thing we really wanna avoid, and that's what this transformation challenge is about, it's not about weight loss per se. 
Weight loss might be a part of it, but it's about the transformation, the physical, but also the mental transformation. The transformation from a person that doesn't really get things done to the person that does get things done, to a person that talks about things, to a person that actually executes and gets things done. That's the big difference between people that have successful transformation challenges. And so one of the things we're actually gonna be looking for is a story. So at the end of the transformation challenge, we're gonna be asking our top people, what was the difference? And what we found with a lot of them was they stopped making excuses and they started setting goals and achieving them. And the thing and the reason that I wanna do this transformation challenge for, for those of you out there, it's because that's what it did for me. It, it took me a time in my life when I made excuses and didn't get things done, and I started setting goals and achieving them with my physique, and it just bled into all areas of my life. I just became someone who no longer made excuses, and I was able to be successful in other areas. So that's it for me today, guys. I appreciate the question. Please keep them coming to my Instagram direct message. Go to prophysique.com. Sign up for the Transformation Challenge if you're interested. If you have any other questions about it, please let me know. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.